Hello and welcome back to another video. Sous vide is undisputably a more accurate, convenient, and tastier way to cook food. But which sous vide cooker should you buy for your home? In this video, we'll compare the new Anova Precision Cooker to the Breville Jewel in the following categories. Performance, hardware design, app and user experience, and most importantly, who shamelessly copied whose packaging? I'll also leave both of these devices linked down in the description below so that you can compare your own local pricing. When cooking sous vide, the only sitting around and waiting you find yourself doing is waiting for the water to heat up before adding in your food. Some foods with longer cook times, such as steak, can be put in right away without having a noticeable effect on the final product. But much like baking, if you're cooking something delicate like fish or eggs, you want to ensure that the water is fully heated before adding in your protein. The Joule has a slight advantage in this department with 1100 watts versus the 1000 watts on the Innova. Let's run a quick practical test to see which of these units can heat up a 5 liter water bath from room temperature up to 65 degrees Celsius the fastest. The results were close, but the smaller and more powerful Joule finished slightly ahead taking 13 minutes to heat the water versus 15 on the Innova. Due to its higher power, the Joule also has a higher maximum temperature of 98 degrees versus 92 on the Innova, and a higher maximum bath size of 40 liters versus 32 on the Innova. Both of these devices have the exact same temperature accuracy of plus minus 0.1 degrees Celsius. In terms of sound levels, the Joule was only slightly, but still noticeably quieter than the Innova when running. For being the same appliance, these two units do look and act quite differently, so one may in fact suit you better. The Innova is overall a significantly larger device, being taller, thicker, and heavier than the Joule. That being said, this will never be an issue unless you are using a very small container to cook. The more critical spec for sous vide cookers is their minimum and maximum usable water depths. By the books, the Joule can work in both shallower and deeper containers than the Innova. However, because of the way the Joule cycles water through a higher up water outlet, Submerging in anything less than 100 millimeters will result in a splashy and loud cooking experience. This was a big downside for me, as it meant that I often ended up heating up more water than needed, just so that the Joule would be quiet during cooking. I suppose in some ways this equals out due to the Joule's faster heating, but I still wish that they had opted for a straight through water circulation system like on the Innova. On the topic of container compatibility, the Innova uses a height adjustable screw down clamp to hold it upright in your cooking container, while the Joule has a very convenient magnetic base to hold it upright in metal pots, or a long fixed position wire clamp for plastic containers. I rate these connection methods about equal. The Innova can be slightly clumsy to secure at times, and while the Joule works great in metal pots, there is no way to attach it to a shallow, non-metal container. Choose your cooking container accordingly, and both will work great. Build quality is solid on both units, but again, they took quite different approaches. The Innova has stuck to a very industrial, stainless steel and plastic build, with the stainless steel jacket being removable for more thorough cleaning. The Joule has taken a page right out of Apple's design handbook, from the minimal all-white build to the very Apple-looking power plug and connectors, the Joule is arguably a more home kitchen friendly look. The final physical difference between these two units is of course the user interface. The Innova has a touch control panel that allows you to set the temperature and time manually without the use of an external app. The Joule has a single tactile button on top which is used purely for simple confirmations during setup or reset. All other functionality for the Joule is controlled using a device paired by either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and running the app, which we'll take a look at now. The pairing and app experience was the area that I saw the greatest differences between these two devices. Because the Joule is controlled exclusively by the app, the functionality and user experience was far superior to that on the Innova. 
Pairing the Innova was a frustrating process that actually ended up taking me several days and back and forth emails with Innova support. But here's what I learned. In order to pair using a four digit pairing code shown on the screen, you must have freshly booted up the unit, disabled all power saving modes on your cell phone, have your cell phone connected to the same 2.4 GHz network you wish to pair with, and then wait for the quite lengthy pairing process to complete. For me, it was upwards of 10 minutes and still took three or four tries without failing. In contrast, pairing the Jewel was very simple. No changes to cell phone settings were required. You automatically entered pairing mode upon first boot up of the app, which then finds nearby devices and asks you to join a wireless network. I had the Jewel set up and paired within a matter of minutes of opening the app versus days on the Innova. The actual app and cooking experience echoed these same results. The Innova app provides a large library of user submitted recipes, but to even cook something as simple as chicken breast took a few minutes of reading and searching. What if I'm cooking from frozen? What if I want it more well done? Why is the time listed on this recipe different than the one I just read? Nine times out of 10, I ended up simply Googling something like frozen chicken sous vide cook time and setting the cook time manually as it was quicker than searching through the app. With the Jewel, the cooking experience was much better and the app was actually useful. I picked my protein, picked a visual doneness to set the temperature, then picked the size and either fresh or frozen to set the cooking time. Again, this process took seconds on the Jewel versus several minutes on the Innova. The app then showed how long it was expected for the water to be heated, how long until cooking would be done, and a historical timeline of what was going on. Heck, I could even ask my smart home to set things up for me, which sounds a little bit gimmicky, but I've actually used it. Watch. Alexa, ask Jewel to cook steak. For steak, we recommend cooking it at 54 degrees Celsius for medium rare. Does that sound good? Yes. How thick is it? One inch. Is it fresh or frozen? Fresh. Setting jewel to 54 degrees Celsius. We leave it in the water for 60 minutes. Alexa, ask jewel to stop. Jewel was stopped. You know that the Innova app is counterintuitive when asking Alexa to do it is more straightforward. Once set up to cook, the Innova and the Jewel will produce the exact same quality of food. However, out of all the minor physical differences between these two devices, the actual cooking workflow was what ended up selling me on keeping the Jewel over the Innova. The Jewel was a full start to finish system, while the Innova was a tool that you needed to do some external research in order to use properly. I do think that the Innova hardware itself is actually slightly better. The clamp is more versatile and it's a big advantage to be able to use the unit without the need for a connected app. But the countless connection issues I've already had with the Innova, combined with an app that doesn't add much value over just plain Google, meant that in the end, I'll be keeping the Jewel for its overall better user experience. Cooking is about exploring and finding new things to try, and the Jewel's better app integration, visual doneness selector, and wide range of recipes made it effortless for me to do exactly that. Again, I'll have both of these units linked in the description below so you can check your own local pricing and pick up the one you think is best for you. If you've enjoyed this video and are looking to improve your internet browsing security, use the link in the description below to learn about our affiliate brand for this video, NordVPN. Using a VPN service not only protects your computer and personal data from harm while browsing the web, but also gives you access to content that is exclusively available in other regions by allowing you to seamlessly switch between hundreds of servers worldwide. Use the link in the description below to get a discount on your VPN membership and to support this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.